So our lesson today is chapter eight, lesson five, which talking about factoring x squared plus bx plus c. In the previous lessons, we talked about how can we multiplying binomial with binomial, monomial with binomial, multiplying monomial with uh, trinomial, trinomial with binomial, and so on. All of these ways, we call them multiplying. Multiplying, like I give you this one, or sorry, x minus 3 times x plus 3. And if you're multiplying them, I'll keep it as x plus 8 as an example. If you're multiplying them, you will say it's x squared minus 24 x plus uh, x times x squared x plus 8x and minus 3x. So it will be x squared minus or plus 5x minus 24. So look at here. Here I have two factors, two binomials. I multiply them. I get this trinomial. So if you have these two ones or these two these two binomials, we call them factor. This one is a factor, and this one also is a factor. Now, multiplying these two factors, I will get this trinomial. So these two factors, if I multiplying multiply them, I will get this trinomial. This is what we learned in the previous lesson. Today, I will give you this function or this expression, the trinomial, and I want you to factorize it. To write it as x minus 3 times x plus 8. I will repeat. Another example. All of us know that if you have this triangle here, and if you have here, number 16, you will say it is 8 times 2. Multiplying, like I multiplied 8 times 2, and I get 16. Factoring, like I will say that, give me two numbers that if I multiply them, I will get 16. You will tell me it's 8 times 2. This is the meaning of multiplying and factoring. Here also, we will do the same. We will have also this triangle. In this triangle, we will have this trinomial x squared minus uh, or plus 5x minus 24. And I give you that it's x minus 3 and x plus 5. Now, in the previous lessons, we learned how can we multiply them x plus 5 and x minus 3 to get the trinomial function. Today, or in lesson 5, 6, and 7, we will learn how can we factorize it. How can, if I give you this trinomial, and I will ask you, give me two factors. If you multiply them, you will get this trinomial. This is the meaning of factoring. Give me these two factors. If you're multiplying them, you will get this trinomial. Today, we will start with factoring x squared plus bx plus c. It's a type of trinomial with x squared plus bx plus c. In this lesson, the coefficients of x here is 1. So today, we will start how can we factorize x squared plus bx plus c. Means teacher in the previous lesson lesson it was Danny to square binomials that are that having the same terms and different signs signs or the same sign. Yeah, the lessons the first the previous lesson. I'm talking about lesson one, two, two, three, four. All of them, if you notice the you see the title, it is multiplying. All of them are multiplying. Today I will go to a next section which is factoring. A special case, it's also multiplying. 
find two binomials. But why we call it a special case? Because it is binomials, but these terms are the same. That's we call it special case. This is now okay. we factoring x squared plus px plus, uh, plus c. In this problem here, look at this form, this function, x squared plus 8x plus 15. Now, the first thing I want you to do it, look at the sign of 8, it's a plus, and the sign of 8 here, this is plus. So be careful, they have positive 8x, positive 15. Now, what we have to do? If I'm told you, I'm telling, I'm telling you, sorry, to factorize, the first step, you have to put open two brackets. So factorizing, you open two brackets. And since the variable here is x squared, so I will put one, I have x squared, so I mean have two x's. I will put one x here and the second x, I will put it here. This is the first step. Then, as I told you, here now, the numbers are positive 8x and positive 15. What does it mean? That's me. I want you to make a table. In this table, I want you to give me the factors. Be careful. Factors of 15. Okay? I want you now here to write the factors of 15. What are the factors of 15? It will be 1 times 15 and 5 times 3. Times by 1. 1, 15 and 5 for 3. If you multiplied 1 times 15, you will get it. You will get 15. And if you multiply 5 times 3, you will get 50. This is the first step. I will factor C. You should we say it here, it's x squared plus bx plus C. You will factor C. You will factor the constant. 15. It could be 1 times 15 and 5 times 3. Then the second step. I want now to look at these pairs of factors of the constant C, and I will see which two pairs of factors have the summation of eight. I will factor the 15, yeah. two pairs. By, by the way, you must be two ways. As an example, if you have 16, don't tell me, teacher, it is four times two times two. No. I want only two pairs of, uh, uh, one pair, sorry, of numbers. Four multiplied by four. So here we have one. So the pair of numbers that if I multiply them, I get 15 is one and 15 and five and a three. Then I will want, I will look at two numbers. If I add them, I will get it. What are these two numbers? Let's add them. 1 plus 15 is what? 16. And 5 plus a 3? 8. 8. So my factors that accomplish my conditions are. So from this one, the question is, I will ask you. To give me. It's like this. Give me two numbers. The, if you multiply them, you get 15. And if you add them, you get 8. You, as you see, we found that 5 and 3 are these two numbers. So I will put 5 here and 3 here. Now, we say that positive 5. Multiplied by positive 3, I get positive 8. Since they are plus to plus, so I will put them here 
as a plus a plus. Why? Because if you multiply plus times a plus, you get. Let's change the color, please. If you multiply this plus with this plus, you will get this plus sign. And also, if you add them, you get this plus sign. So my factors are x plus 5 times x plus 3. If you multiply them as the ways using any way that you, you told about it late, uh, the previous week, you will find this answer. This is the factoring. Is it clear? I will do another examples. But it is the general yes, factoring here. Yes, yes it's check. Yes, the numbers. Yeah. I teacher, suppose it's an even number, Annie. Like, for example, I have like 16, teacher. Like, Annie, I will not make it two times by two times by two times by no, two. I want to no, no. give me only any two numbers. I, I will not ask you to give me two prime numbers. No. It, would, it could be prime with composite or composite with composite anyway. But give me two okay. prime number, two uh, numbers, sorry. If you multiply them, you get 15. And if you add them, you get eight. Let's do another example now. What is the factored form of R squared plus 11R plus 24? The first step, as I told you, Factorizing, that means I have to open two brackets. The second step, I have R squared. So I have two R's. One of the R's, I will write it here. And the second R, I will write it here. Then after that, I will look at, it was R squared plus 11R plus 24. The third step now, I will look at the constant here, the constant C. I will ask myself, give me two, or give me pair of numbers that if you multiply them, you get 24. Some of you told me, teacher, it's two times 12. Some of you told me, teacher, it could be eight times three, six, times four, what's also? Um, four times one and 12, I one mean one and 24. 24. Yes. Now then, after I wrote all these four pairs of numbers, now give me one pair of number that if you add them, you get 11. Let's see, one plus 24 is 25. 25. Eight plus three, 11. Two plus 11. 12, 14. Six plus four, 10. 10. I Ten. want you to give me one pair of numbers. If you multiply them, you get 24. And if you add them, you get 11. What are these two eight, numbers? Eight and, eight and three. Eight. Eight, and three. Eight, and three. eight and three. Then after that, since we have here a plus sign and the plus, I have to put here plus, plus. Because if you multiply these two pluses, I get the plus. And if you add them also, you will get the plus. This is how. Oh, yes. Easy. Yes. The teacher will factorize the C, which is 24, and we'll find two numbers from this. 24, that will equal 11. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Be careful, you have to write it in the standard form. As an example, if you have it like this. Don't, this is not in the standard form. So most of you get this 11. It will be false. You have to rewrite it in a standard form. And then after you write it in the standard form, you will now factorize it. Okay. Okay? Yes. Now, okay.
Let's do here now number 14. In number 14, factor each expression, check your answers. Now, how to check your answers? Like, did you remember in chapter in the grade four, if you multiplied four times eight, or sorry, if you must say that 32, its factors are four times eight. To check it, you multiply if four times eight gets equal 32. If yes, so you could you solve it in the correct way. Check your answer. That's mean you have to multiply them by the previous way that you learned before. Number 14 now. Y squared plus 6Y plus 5. The first step, as I said before, open two brackets. Here we have Y squared. The variable are Y squared. So I will put them here as Y, Y. Then... I will ask you now to give me the factors of 5. What are the factors five. of 5? 1 and 5. 1 and 5 only. If you add 1 and 5, you get 6? Yes. Yes. So this yes. is 5. Yes. Factors. Then, since we have a plus sign, I will put them here as a plus, plus. Why plus, plus? Because if you multiply them, you get the plus, and if you add them, you get also plus. This is now how can we factorize it. Now, let's check your answer. How can we check your answer? I will multiply them. Let's multiply these two factors. If we multiply them, Why shall we get the same answer? Let's see. Let's use the table. Why five? Let's put here. We have Y1, Y and plus one, y and plus one, here y and plus five, and here y and plus five. Let's now revise, how can we multiply them? y times y is y squared, y times one is y, y times five is five y, and y times five, one is five. Then it's y squared plus 5y plus y plus 5. y squared equals y plus 6 squared. Are they the same? Yes. Yes. So my factoring is correct. It's correct. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Now, number 15, t squared plus 10t plus 16. The first step, I will open two brackets, as we said before. Then I will look, what is my variable here? It is t. One of the t's are here, and the other t is here. And after that, I will look at the constant C. I will ask myself, what are two numbers that if I multiply them, I get 16? What are these? Eight numbers? and two. Eight and two, what also? Four and four. Four and four, what also? One and 16. Yes. Then let's add them, eight plus two, 10, 4 plus 4, 8, 1 plus 16, 17. So which one pair of numbers that if you multiply them, you get 16, and if you add them, you get 10? 8 and 2. 8 times 2. 8 and 2. 8 and 2. Then after that now, here. Since we have plus plus, this is the easiest one. You will put here. Sorry. You will put here plus and plus. So my factors are t plus 8, 
times t plus two. So this is the first case. If you have both of the B, both look at B here, it is greater than zero and C here is greater than zero. We will do these steps. Look, look down or go down to the second case. In the second case here, look at this now. Here now, we have B less than zero. Look at the sign of B here, it's negative 11. And then positive 24. So here now, what we have to do? Well, since we have factorizing, so I will open two factors. My variables are x. Uh, sorry, I will open two brackets with the variables x. Now then, I want you the same steps to give me the factor of 24. But be careful now. The, sum the summation of them, it must be minus. I will repeat. Give me two numbers of uh, that. If you multiply them, you get 24. And if you add them, you get a negative 11. In this way, or in this case, if you have positive number, and you, I mean, I will ask you, if you have these two negative numbers, if you multiply them, what the sign will be? Positive. Positive. And if you add negative. Negative. negative, negative. So here, this is the idea. I want you now to give me two factors of 24 with a negative sign. That's if you multiply them, you will get positive 24. And if you add them, you get negative 11. Negative six and negative four, negative eight and negative three. See here now. The first step, I told you I want to write the factors of 24. All of us know that the factors of negative 20... 12 multiply negative two. Wait, yes. The factors, it could be eight and three, 12 and two, 24 and one, six and four. And I, since I told you, this is the factors of 24. Now, since I told you, since I told you, I want them, the summation of them is minus. So just, I will put minus sign for each of them. By now, negative eight times negative three, positive 24. Negative 11. Positive, multiply, I mean. Negative uh -uh. Two, multiply by negative two, positive 24. Oh. So that's it. I now write the factors of 24, but not with the plus sign, with negative sign. Because already, if I multiplied two negative numbers, I will get positive number, positive answer. Then if you add them, you get negative 11. Negative six plus negative four. Is negative eight and negative three. Yes, it will be negative 8 and negative 3. These two numbers, as you see, they have, if you multiply them, you get positive 24. And if you add them, you get negative 11. So I will write these two numbers here. Negative 8 and negative 3. Now, look at the signs. If you multiply the signs, you will get positive. And if you add them, you get negative. So negative. My, my solution is correct. So this is how oh, these are the steps. I will multiply. I'll give me two numbers that if you multiply them, you get 24, you add them, you have negative 11. After I put these numbers, I want to check the signs. 
if you multiply these two signs, negative time negative, you will get the positive. And if you add these two negative signs, you will have this negative answer, which is negative 11. That's why I told you to focus or to be careful at the signs of the C and B. Because if B and C are positive, positive, you will think different than positive, negative, positive. So now, but, yani by now, I want that here it could be, oh, there are four ways it could be x, oh, sorry, I can write here, I cannot write here. But if you have uh, oh, the four the th the cases, it could be x squared minus or plus bx plus c plus plus or x squared minus bx minus c. And there's an x squared minus bx plus c. Yes, miss. Teacher, it's not appearing that you are writing. Me. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. So I will write. Now, the cases are x No, I changed. I wrote in the board. That's why. The cases are x squared plus. No, teacher. I mean, there is no picture for me. There is nothing. Me too. Maybe you stopped sharing the screen. Who stopped sharing? Teacher, there is no screen no. appearing. No. Yes, now it's appearing. Yes, no. Okay. No, it's yes. so it's clear. Now x squared, it could be x squared plus bx plus c. It could be x squared minus bx plus c. It could be x squared minus bx minus c. And it could be these are the four cases. Today we learn how we factorize if we have plus plus and minus or plus. Tomorrow we will learn how can we factorize x squared minus bx minus c or plus bx minus c. So the first thing for the first two expressions, it's very easy. I will look at two numbers. If you multiply them, I can get positive if you have positive, positive, that's mean I have two positive factors. And if I have negative B with positive C, I will must I must have negative sign. Because if you multiply them, you get positive. And if you add them, you get minus. This is the four cases. And today we talked about only these two cases. Now let's do another example. What is the factored form of x squared minus 6x, 6y, sorry, plus 8? Here now, y squared minus 6y plus 8. The first step, as I told you before, you have to open two brackets. Y, Y. Then ask yourself, give me two numbers. If you multiply them, you get positive 8. And if you add them, you get negative 6. If you see this negative sign here, what does it mean? If you see this negative sign, that's you have to put negative here and negative here. If you see negative sign for this number, what does it mean? That one positive here, 
That's mean I want you to give me two numbers. If you multiply them, you get positive eight. And if you add them, you get negative sign. So positive number, you multiply them, you get pos negative. So it cannot be positive, positive. It must be negative, negative. The factors of any number, of number four, it could be positive two times positive two. And also it could be negative two times negative two. The, all of these are factors. But if you add these two twos, two numbers, you get four. But if you add these two numbers, you get negative four. So they are different. So if you see positive eight, I want you to give me two numbers of this positive eight, but with different sign, with the, sorry, with minus sign. It will be negative four times negative two it is positive eight. Negative one times negative eight. Is it right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Now then after that, which two, pair or which pair of numbers, if you add them, you get negative six. Negative four, negative two. Negative four and negative two. I will write negative four here and negative two here. So this is my factors. Oh, this will be my factors of my trinomial function. Look at this sign here. Minus, minus. What does it mean? That's mean if you multiply them, you get positive eight. And if you add them, you get negative negative six y. Teacher, here you mean add the four negative two negative two. You mean in the first and got it one. We write positive so we can get positive number. But if we write negative, we'll get positive number if we multiply them. But if we add them, we'll get negative. Yes. Now let's okay. see. Can you factor x squared minus x plus 2? No. x squared minus x plus 2. x x. Now, give me two numbers. Oh, first, give me, here we have negative sign. So I need, now, since we have a negative sign, so... I need uh, two numbers that must be minus. If you multiply them, you get positive two. What are the numbers that if you multiply them, you get positive two? It could be negative one, negative one. Negative one. Now, if you add them, you must get negative. Or if you add them, you have negative three, but you must get negative one. So I will say that there is no factor or there are no factors sorry, of this one, of this trinomial. Why? Because there's no numbers. There's no pair of numbers. If you multiply them, you get positive two. And if you add them, you get negative one. Teacher? Yes, Farah. Um, how did you know that the x is 1? Or you mean negative 1 times by x? Here, it's neg negative x. It's mean negative 1 times x. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. Now, let's have an example. Yes, miss. 17 now. In number 17, n squared minus 15n plus 56. Here now, as you see, we have, I want to factorize them, so let's write n here and n here. Then we have a positive 56, but with negative summation. So what does it mean? Shall I write positive factors or negative factors? Negative. Negative factors. Negative. Uh, will I 
I will repeat. I will ask my question. I have a positive 56. So I can, since they are positive 56, so their factors, it could be positives and it could be negatives. So the factors here, it could be positive numbers or negative numbers. But since the summation it have a negative sign, so I must wrote the negative numbers or the negative factors. Let's see. So I must write two negative numbers. If you multiply them, you get 56. What are these numbers? Yeah, 56. Could be what? Six. Negative seven, negative eight. Yes, or negative 56. I oh, saw. Sorry. Negative seven, negative eight. What also? 14, um, negative one, negative 13, uh, sorry, 7 and 8. What also? Who can give me? 56 divided um, It's an even number. So uh, 28. 6 divided by 2. Sorry. Yes. 28 divided by 2. Or negative 14 divided by, uh, sorry, multiplied by negative 4. Now, which of these two, uh, which of these pair, if you add them, you get negative 15. I will, it will be in it for, um, 14 and 4, they are negative no. 18. 2 and 28, they are negative 30. 7 and 8, it will be 15, negative 15. So which is, which pair? Oh, yes. Negative 17. 